Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. So again, today I'm going to tell you about diversity and uh, what I'm going to tell you, in fact, is really normal. And I think every one of us uh, is thinking the same, but just people will not dare. They will not dare tell you this. Most people are too scared. They are too scared of society and they are too scared that if they talk this way, then they will appear and they, they will destroy their image and maybe they will lose their job and maybe they will be labeled and maybe uh, some people will even threaten them because they share their opinion but I am not like this so I'm going to tell you exactly how people think Allez Paul, traverse rapidement um, Until it based on my experience I don't mind how you look like you can be white, you can be black, you can be Asian you can be red, you can be brown, you can be yellow, you can be green, I don't mind. You can have a, a long face, a square face, you can be fat, you can be old, you can be young, you can be old, you can be a kid, you can be a woman, you can be a man, but I care what you think. I care what you think. Look again, they are again destroyed. They destroyed a beautiful house and the garden and they will build a modern building again, you know. So everything will be gone very soon, you know. And uh, let me tell you, there is not much change if you just come here and you arrive. Oh, it's so nice. A beautiful house here. Another beautiful house here. But if you have been there, like I have been there since 1990, so I have seen the change. I can tell you I've seen the change. I've seen so many such houses, you know, disappeared, destroyed. I've seen many big trees and gardens that were just bah, vanished forever. C'est comme ça. C'est loin, c'est tout au bout de la rue, je te l'ai dit. Hein. Uh, but anyway, I, it, it doesn't matter how you look like, but it matters what you think and how you think. In fact, I shouldn't say what you think, because people are free to express themselves and think whatever they want. However, we have one thing in common here in France, is our education and our culture, our culture. And yeah, of course, we don't always have the same education. It depends on our parents, it depends on, on the social level, uh, uh, we have de it depends on our life experience, it depends on the education, if we, whether we went to school or not. But we have one thing is common, is this French identity, the French culture, the French identity, the French culture. And I can tell you, um, this is going away because of migrants. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, of course, you cannot talk this way because most people say, you're racist, you're racist. When you speak about migrants, you become immediately a racist. You know, here you can see, okay, this is a white district, white, 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 this is a white. Or no, maybe not white, she's Asian. But you can see the way she behaves, um, that she's probably... You can see the way she behaved, in fact she's, that she's probably born here, or that she's married to a French national, or that she received, was adopted. Doesn't matter how you look like, what matters is your culture, your education. I will tell you exactly my life experience, okay? Um, when I went to school uh, in Versailles, so the west side of Paris, in the whole city of Versailles, that was in 1990, so it's probably, I don't think you could see any black, and you couldn't see any Arabs, and you couldn't see any Asians. There were very few tourists. There were very few tourists at the castle. You could see some American tourists, European tourists, you know, the castle of Versailles. Uh, the Asian tourists were mainly Japanese. And I remember back in 1994, in our, in our middle school, uh, there is a Tunisian guy who arrived and he stayed in, this, in our school for maybe two weeks. I don't remember why, uh, but I remember clearly this guy smelled very bad, really smelled very bad. And that's not racist to say it, I don't know, maybe he didn't clean himself, didn't wash properly. I felt really bad for him because he had no friends, nobody would talk to him. He had difficulty speaking French. And the teacher were always saying, okay, who wants to do the, oh, the, to be team with him? And I was the only one. I was always sitting next to him and I accepted to, to be with him. Because I thought in my, in my eyes, I, I'm a good person. And I thought I'm going to be kind with him and help him. Okay. And, and to me, it was very strange. Oh, Tunisia. Oh, I've never seen a Tunisian in my whole life. You know, that was very interesting. Uh, and I, I think my classmates were the same as me. We never saw any Tunisian, you know. 
Uh, and that was like this until I passed the university entrance exam in 1998. It's the same here in this city and in, in the wall of Paris, I think most of Paris, you never had any blacks, you never had any Arabs, you know. I remember there was a mixed kid in my, in my school, in the high school. Uh, he was a bit black and white, you know, mixed black and white. C'est tout au long, tout au bout. Je t'avais dit de prendre l'entretien. And then, um, and then that, 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 that is, is what I remember, you know. Um, once I discussed with my father, okay, my father is quite old, and when he, he was young after the Second World War, so 1970, 1960, he told me, in the wall of Paris, you couldn't see any black person. You couldn't see any black persons, you know. So this is something that you have to understand. Of course, when I say this, people say, oh, you're racist, it's not about race. Of course, it's not about race. It's about education and culture. Education, culture, you know. Um, now, when you, you are in my city, that's one of the last places left, you know. When people start building big walls like this to be protected because they are worried they will be thief or they will be, I don't know. So that's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it's one of the last places left like this. And the problem is, is, of course, not about race or skin color. The problem is, uh, these guys have been in France for 10 years. That's the problem. They have been in France for 20 years. That's the problem, okay? So I tell you, in year 2000, in the, this whole area, the whole west of Paris, not one black, not one Asian, not one Arab. Now it's maybe 50%, at least 50%. Even here, it's at least 50%. And I have seen it coming, okay? And now, uh, uh, maybe five years ago, they start reaching uh, uh, the countryside, some areas like province, the whole province countryside, like Bretagne or Normandy, Brittany, or places where, and in the, in, even in the small countryside village, you start to have like 20%, 30%. They are all moving in. And they just come from foreign countries and they don't have the French identity, they don't have the French culture. Uh, is it racist to say this? No, it's not racist. Can this guy become French one day? No, they cannot. They cannot, you know. Can I become Chinese? No, I cannot become Chinese. You know, I've been in China for, uh, what, uh, 15 years? I can never be Chinese. I can never become Chinese, you know. I, I, am, I, will always be, I will always be me. I will always be French. My child can be Chinese. If he's, if he's educated and raised in China, he will become Chinese. Can a Chinese person like my wife who comes to France become French? She cannot. No, she cannot. Maybe if she stay here 20 years, she will be almost French, but she will not be fully French. There will always be something. She will understand everything. Maybe she will even understand more than I understand because she will be able to compare. Oh, in China, we do it this way. Here, you do it that way. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. Oh, why would the people behave that way? Wow, wow. You now here, they destroy all the garden and build this garbage. You know, it's like, I shouldn't say it. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. if, if you live there, it's not garbage, but what they used to be before, it's so beautiful. And now it's this, you know. So can you, 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 know, you know what I mean? Um, um, and then you can say, yeah, it doesn't matter because all these guys who came here, they will be able to integrate and they will become French. No, no, they will not because there are so many, so many, you know, like in 10 years time, you have whole cities where you have 50% people who are like, uh, like this. So it's really replacing, they replace the culture. That's okay. They still have many values that are similar, but it's not, uh, it's still not the same, you know, and I am against this. And when you speak like me, I tell you, when you speak like me, you are a racist and people attack you and I, I, I dare <laughs> look at this guy, forget, forget his raincoat here, I don't know if it's on purpose. But, you know, so, yeah, yeah if, if you speak like me, then, um, then, uh, you... <laughs> ah, tu t'es cogné pas là, mais il faut que tu fasses attention, hein. <coughs> je t'ai cogné contre la voiture, hein. <coughs> ça va, mais regarde où tu marches. So, okay, so that, this is what I want to do. And again, I don't want to push hate. I know, I know it's difficult, but uh, I don't think there is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any issue for this. And wh the funny thing is that, that I know this, and that's why I tell you, we are limited. We are very limited as human beings. We cannot look beyond. We cannot look beyond our, our skin. We cannot look beyond our age. We cannot look beyond our face. Very difficult. You know? Attention, tu vas encore te cogner, Paul. Tu te mets bien sur la droite. Okay, and look, many beautiful, beautiful house here. Huge, huge, huge. You know, before there used to be maybe only this house, they were, and the whole place was just this house, and 
all the land with the beautiful trees, you know. <laughs> and yeah, many modern houses, many modern places that they destroy, 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 here destroyed new, like less than five years ago, ten years ago. Pah, they done, pah, pah. It's everywhere. You know, I, I know very well, you know, if it goes on like this. Um, yeah, yeah, I know very well, you know. And um, uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, also we are being forced. Like someone who is, uh, I can see very clearly, you know, uh, people don't want to mix together. You know, that's also the problem. Like someone who they will be very suspicious. Even they will stop at the skin color. They will look at my wife, ah, Chinese. Uh, they don't know. Yeah, they will be suspicious. If you are an adopted kid, they will be like uh, suspicious. I don't go around with him. That's not good. And the funny thing is, you can see even the Asian, even the Chinese that are in France, they stick among themselves. And not for 20 years. Maybe they have been among themselves. Some of them arrived 100 years ago, and they still have the Chinese family name, and they still speak Chinese, and they still have pride about oh, my Chinese roots, and look, I know about this and that. I mean, they have Why? You know, this really tells you about the limitation, the limitation of people, you know, that um, even after 100 years, you will be uh, proud of your Chinese identity and Chinese roots, but... You're not Chinese anymore, you know? <laughs> you have been there for 100 years. No, you still, you know, look at me. I have uh, uh, some, my, uh, some, some of my ancestors were Jew, you know? And then I'm still, oh, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit Jew, I'm a bit Jewish, a little bit, you know? And that's part of my identity. And my father was always telling me, oh, you know, you have some part of your identity that's Jew. You know? Yeah, okay, but all the rest is not. So why should I focus on something? Okay, that's part of me, but I'm French. That's what I am. I'm French. You know? But even this shows you the limitation that... And I guess for someone... Yeah, me, I, I'm white, okay? But for someone who looks uh, Asian or this, it's limited. It's even the choice is limited. It's so complex. This subject is so complex, you know? Uh, but I, I don't believe in people being able to mix together. and uh, I don't believe in this. No. Uh, especially not when, uh, as I'm telling you, uh, you have like 50% uh, of the people who arrive here who are like uh, in the last 10 years, 10 years, you know, in two, uh, my wife, it's the same last thing I will tell you, you know, my wife, when she arrived in France the first time, I think it was here like maybe 2008 or something, and she told me that there were almost no Asian, no Asian, people say, oh, you come from China, oh, really, how is it in China, yeah. And now it's all over the place. And even she's like, yeah, I know, I know. Even she can see it. You know?